been a while since I've done a handbag review, so I thought I would do a video on the newest Kate Spade handbag that I picked up. If you're new here, Kate Spade is my all-time favorite handbag brand, and I am a handbag girl on a budget. I love purchasing contemporary handbags at a good deal. And I like to share with you guys some of my favorite styles. I am mostly a makeup channel. 95% of my posts are involved with makeup, but I do like to spice it up since I do post almost every single day with a handbag video every now and then. And today I'm gonna be showing you my newest handbag in my collection and my thoughts so far. I have been eyeing this bag for a long time, probably for over a year, and I've been waiting for it to go on a discount, and a couple weeks ago, it did go on sale on Kate Spade Surprise for the first time. So this is one of the Love Shack bags, and these have been out for a couple years, and they were very, very trendy. I don't think they're as trendy now, which is why these went on sale, but it doesn't matter because I'm still very excited excited about these. This is a classic novelty Kate Spade bag. Now I got mine in the wicker so I think they are getting rid of them because these did go on sale for the Kate Spade deal of a day and a lot of the styles that were on there are no longer on there so this wicker style is not on there any longer but they do have a couple different styles and patterns. A couple are $99 right now and then the one that I think is the cutest is a chalk pink. This one is $179 and I've been keeping an eye out for these heart bags because they have been over $200 consistently so the second that they were on a deal of the day I snatched them up real quick and shared with you guys as well and I'm very happy I ended up with the wicker pattern though it's very seasonal this is the one that I love the most it kind of looks like a lunchbox <laughs> so this style well I'll talk about it it is not what's available on the website so I won't go into too much detail about this that but for a while the heart shaped bag was very very trendy coach has one that's even more popular that one keeps selling out so if it's available right now I will link it down below but I'm a Kate Spade girl and this one just seems really classically Kate Spade which is why I wanted it it's a novelty bag it's probably not gonna go with everything that I wear but I wear a lot of feminine dresses maxi dresses summery type of clothes so this one will definitely be matching that style and it is off season so that's that's why these also did go on sale so I will probably get more use out of this next year and I'm still very very excited about it so here is what it looks like it is a top handle bag and like I said I did get the wicker style but they do have some Safiano PVC in the other bags available online it does come with a removable crossbody with this silver goldish hardware that Kate Spade has though right now it's looking very silver to me um so the wicker is in the front and the back and then we have that Safiano material here in the middle and then we have a metal pin mount Kate Spade logo right here. The con I will say with this crossbody strap first of all I love the length of it and you'll see that when we get into the wearing demo but because I am so small I don't know if you can see this when I do put it at the shortest length this kind of hangs off but you can see all of the different holes for the length that we have here. And then you just attach the crossbody strap on these D hooks attached to the bag. And then the zipper is gonna go along the side. It's not across the whole way, but you'll see how much space we have of not zipper. Pretty smooth zip, not amazing, but it is an odd shape. Now it doesn't open up to as wide as I would like. I would have preferred instead of fabric right here that they do a stretchier kind of elastic material. It still opens enough to kind of slide your things in but you definitely can't pack it full. The inside has the Kate Spade fabric. Kate Spade right here with two card holders. I don't know if you can see that but that's the inside you can't get the mouth to open very wide that to me is a con however it's very easy to just slip your items in now with its weird shape I have the largest iPhone size if I just pop it straight in my iPhone will stick out if I turn it to the side it does fit 
there's enough space for a few more items. It's not going to hold your whole life, but it's enough for a day outing. You know, it holds a small wallet. It will hold any, I don't know, a mini fan that you need, a little mirror, the lip gloss. There are things that it will be able to hold, but it's not the most spacious bag. And it is a little disappointing that it doesn't stretch out a little bit more. I feel like something stretchier here would have allowed for a larger mouth. So I'm putting the product details that are on the website right here. It has all of the dimensions of the bag. You'll see it has a two and a half inch handle drop, a strap drop of 22 inches. Um, and then you can see the dimensions are a little odd because it is a heart shape, uh, but the dimensions don't have stretch because of the material. Those are definitely the true dimensions. This material of the bag has no stretch. You can't just stretch it to try and fit a few more items in. And because this is from the Kate Spade Surprise website, it won't come with a dust bag, which is a little disappointing. I love that luxury experience, but you get what you pay for when you go through the outlet website. So I'm just going to do a little close up for you in case you want a closer detailed look at the bag. I think it is gorgeous. It is a true novelty bag. It's not super high fashion or anything, but if you have a specific style, I think this is going to go with a lot. Just think of summer and summer dresses. This is going to be perfect, and this is a bag that I've wanted for a very long time. I thought it was adorable. I thought it was very, very Kate Spade, so I'm excited I was able to get it at a discount. I believe I paid around $130 for this bag, and that's really good because it had been sitting at over $200 for a few months. I'm going to send you over so that you can see how this looks on me while I'm wearing it. So here is the bag on. I have the leather strap on the shortest setting and for all my short girls I am only like 410 411 around that range this to me is the perfect length so I'm so excited I definitely will probably reuse this white leather strap for other bags because of how short it goes which is really lovely and it does extend longer if you need a longer size but I love the length that it sits at I think it's adorable and I the straps are removable so you can hold it just by the top handle or you can replace it with a different strap that you prefer and i just think it's, it's so cute i mean it definitely is very novelty but this obviously i didn't really style it the best but this would be so cute styled with a really girly like maxi dress anything like that perfect for summer honestly and here is how the handle is just using it, let's see. I mean, I have a very petite wrist, so that's as far as I can get it, but you're definitely, I don't know, unless you have a very, very thin arm, you're not going to be able to put this on the shoulder. So you can hold it top handle, but I really, really like the length of the crossbody. I think it's very, very cute adorable I do suspect that they will come out with this bag in more colors I find that with the Kate Spade surprise with whatever they put on the deal of the days seasonally they will add new colors and since for a while this was such a popular bag I don't see them giving it up just yet it is already on their outlet website so I think it will hold on to life a little longer because of that but if you do want this bag, it looks like it comes in four different colors and um, a couple patterns. And then the patterns you can get for under $100. I suspect if you keep an eye out as seasons change that they will add more colors and patterns and materials. So definitely keep an eye out for that. Uh, if Coach's heart bag is available, I will link that down below. But if you do not have a heart bag, I think they are adorable. And <laughs> I'm really excited about this newest bag. Now come December-ish when we do Vlogmas. I, I still haven't decided if I'm going to do Vlogmas or not, 100%. But I definitely will be uploading more. I am actually going to come back and review bags that I picked up many, many months ago. So I've been wearing my Marc Jacobs tote bag a lot. Obviously, I've had it for months. My YSL College Medium bag. So I will be coming back to give, after months of use, 
updates about the new handbags that I purchased in the last year. I don't know that this one will be up during the holidays because it will not have been long enough. Uh, I probably won't do an update on this until next year or something because this is going to be more of a summer bag for me and we are getting into winter and I know I live in Florida but I do plan to dress a little bit more seasonally because I do love the fall and winter. If you love the handbags make sure you guys subscribe to my channel because I do do periodic handbag videos as well as on my community tab I share some of my favorite and best deals for handbags that I find I do have a playlist if you want to see some more so thank you so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel and I will catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one